Hello everyone, Cryorus here, and welcome to Dead in Finland. Uh, sorry chat, that was a little bit loud, I know. So, Dead in Finland came out, and if I had to describe it, it is a survival management game sprinkled with roguelike elements from Darkest Dungeon uh, equivalent. And I... Oh, look at this beautiful screen. Look at it. Look at the parallax. Oh, my God. All right. Dead in Finland. Let's go. Yeah, maybe I should... I already dropped the music a little bit. There we go. Let's do a new game. Oh, we have four slots. Slot one. Name your slot. Doesn't seem like much, but will most likely feel a reward with a sense of pride and echo. Uh, everyone is mocking EA. I like it. I feel pride and accomplishment. Yes. Alright, choose your challenge. Nice vacation. 20% to all XP. Stats. Okay. So it's just all out easier. This is the hardcore version. Quick starts. Tutorial and true Viking. True Vikings don't need checkpoints. They live from day to day, knowing perfectly well. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, let's keep. Uh, let's do true Viking. Let's go. I've always had simple needs. Family. A peaceful life. But, like the skulls sing, you can't always get what you want. And what the gods gave me was fire and steel. Kill the bastard! They screamed. Luckily, we were warned in time. I can't forget the tears of my beloved Bloodywed when they burned down our house. Our memories. I yelled, drop these bags and row if you want to live. We barely escaped on a stolen boat, with no map and no destination. They didn't bother to follow us. One hell of a story start. Right, so apparently, family exiled from home, loading. For reasons they're not gonna fathom. A longboat lost in a storm. An island from map unknown. Wind, waves, and thunder. The boat torn asunder. Bloodworth, Carrie, Moira, where are you? Eric. We're here, honey. We're fine. Odin be praised. 
The Allfather hasn't completely abandoned us, it seems. I wouldn't have bet on it, considering the last turn of events. Carrie, are you alright, my child? Yeah, Mom, I'm great. Our home burned, Nerd's best storm in our asses, and Dad's perfect landing on the sharp rocks of an unknown island. A perfect day! Oh, wow, oh, oh, I read about this, the, we have to choose carefully, um, I, I can, f I can understand her, everything is gone apart, but I love also the art side, it's amazing, let's comfort her, as long as the family sticks together, we'll be fine, yeah, yeah, I know, Hey, depression down. And our relationship went down? Alright. Alright. Yeah, well, that's cute and all, but how do we do now? What do we do now? Do we have any idea where we are, Eric? No. We drifted far uh, to the west for many days. Over many days. To the end of the world as we know it. Never heard of an island that far to the west. I don't think there's any Norsemen and ever went here. We should explore the vicinity and see if we can find someone that could help us. I hope that someone doesn't turn out to be a frost giant, or worse. We'll see. The family, still disoriented by the shipwreck, started to look around. They decided to walk away from the sad remains of their ship and explore the woods. The forest was silent as themselves. The atmosphere was getting tense when... Look! Over there! A track! Carrie rushed to, uh, to take the path and the others followed her. They continued like this for almost an hour when they finally found the end of the path outside the forest. A wooden shack just here. Look at the parallax. Doesn't seem to be inhabited, though. Let's look for survivors. Look around for a while when you find three piles of dusty bones. One of them uh, has a big hole in his skull. Ooh. Here they are. Oh, that's a little morbid. Yeah, I would get depressed, too. you think they were how they die it's island inhabited hmm. what do we do now now we try our best to survive there's no hope of turning back to our home only fire and steel await us there so we must start a new life here it may be a land of new possibilities for us as long as we stick together Family up. Blood away. I'm thankful uh, to Frick to be able to endure this hardship with my husband, my dear sister, and my daughter. Alright, so they are married. Karen is his son, and that is his sister in law. Gotcha. Without my family, I wouldn't have to will to fight and live. You're here for your sister. Always. Although I have to say, by design, she looks way older than her. But I still hope this cursed island is inhabited. Time will be very long if it's uh, just the four of us. And we'll need husbands if we want to repopulate the island. Right, Carrie? Ugh, no way, ever. You can stay in bed with your dirty dreams. I'm going to explore this island and make it mine. Listen, everyone, now it's not the time for jokes. We still have plenty to do if we want to survive. We still have enough uh, potable water for a few days if we ration ourselves, but we can't rely on that. I have found two big barrels that we can use as containers for our water. Yep. Alright. 
Don't forget, don't drink water coming from the rivers before boiling it. You'll be sick to death. So that means we need to build a fire. Quickly. One fire mushroom. Here, take it. Ah, tinder mu- Okay, here. Yeah. Good. We'll need to build a lot of things if we want to settle here. I set up a workshop with a few tools where we can work quietly. But we'll need resources. Wood, stone, ropes. We can scavenge wood from our ship oh, no, for now. We still uh, had a bit of food left and it too. We should go fetch it. Yes. But it won't last long. We mustn't rely on that too much. I looked around and found some things we could use. Check it out. Huh? A little bit of wood. Huh. Rope. And stones, of course. Good job, Kari. We should explore the surroundings more, some more. We may find food, resources and whatnot. And beasts. And traps. I agree that we should explore, but be careful. We don't know what to expect. Let's start working on this camp. We have plenty to do. Alright! Okay, there we go. It loaded. Dead in Finland is a turn-based game, so you can always take your time to think. Oh, that's neat. Each day is divided into three phases. Morning and afternoon, during which your characters can perform various tasks on the camp, and the night, where they discuss, eat, drink and rest a little before the next day. Most critical resources are your fire and your water. Also keep an eye... Uh, always keep an eye on their level. Fire, no intensity. Water... Okay, we have non-potable water and we have drinkable water. Gotcha. Check this button to assist the water and fire management. Okay, right now the fire is completely off. You can light the fire using five wood and one tinder. Once lit, you only need to f uh, fade it some wood. Okay. The fire without the fire, the family won't hold for long, and tinder is pretty scarce. Oh, all right. Okay, let's light a fire. Okay, that completely ignited it. And ah, adding one wood gives 15 to 25% intensity. Alright. Okay. And that used 8%. Okay, so for two buckets... Can't I... Yeah. One bucket gives half a... Uh, one uh, bucket non-drinkable gives half a bucket drinkable. Okay, or half a unit. I'm calling it a bucket because Minecraft. Oh well. Oh, there are water supplies. Probably repair, but... Can't do that. Now it's time to assign some tasks to your characters. Okay. All the characters can be like from the side bar. Drag Moira. Oh, there we go. Each has different stats. Use an item. Scroll to current position in camp. Alright, all are at the... Ah, that's our boat. Okay. And send her. Alright. Great. We'll see later to how to execute all the assigned tasks. I like how she stands in the world and... I love the parallax effect. It's awesome. How to execute. Let's go... Blood roots and fetch water. Well, I know why he married her. Alright, upgrade camp. Assign Eric to the working. Ah. Also has 
immediate full borderless full screen, which I really like. Oh, some station have different options available. Workshop and choose a crafting plan. Oh. Wow, we can really expand this. Neat. Well, let's get our lumber camp. So we can get... Oh. What is the basic resource? Used to keep fire blazing and craft some things. And we need five rope and five wood to make it... Enables wood cutting activity for one character. Workshop is currently damaged with indicated by the color within the hammer. Alright. Care to have a global view of the camp condition. There we go. Every station apart from a shipwreck and expedition camp. Bit every night and every time they are being used by some characters. Oh, okay. So I should repair my... There we go, two stones and we have boosted the efficiency. Got it. Let's... Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I know, I know. I saw that. Alright, exploration. Uh, assign carry. I guess we will get other characters later. Ares explodes. And she uses water, yeah. Oh, okay. She got... A little bit of wood. Oh, fabric. Food. Neat. And of course, the tea. And seeing the boat, yeah, gets a little bit depressed. Alright. And you got water. Neat. Oh, new area discovered. Beach. Okay. Looks like Kyra just finished exploring a new area of the island. Let's have a look using the map. Oh, okay. Click an unexplored area. With, uh, we'll mark it as a target for upcoming expeditions. Every area contains exactly one thing. Thank you very much. There we go. I will. That should do it. One area, one of these. We only use for a fixed amount of time, for example, two times. Our red ones indicate it won't. Okay. Ah, oh, won't affect the time. Let's check the surroundings. Ah, someone with high exploration. So, carry. Something bugs you. The chest seems to be abandoned not too long, that long ago. In plain sight. Yes, we got it. If you're in an ambush, carefully search the surroundings, but find no one alive. What you do find, though, 
are two dead Norse men and a dead uh, fur, uh, furry creature you never saw before. The one with the trousers down was relieving himself. Oh no, he was killed while taking a leak. Oh no. His friend killed the beast, but not before uh, suffering a fatal wound to the abdomen. They must have died two days ago at most. That means they won't f uh, mind if you take their belongings, will they? Ouch, that are some cruel deaths. Uh, we found some meat, pelts. Oh, whetstone. Are you aware from the chest? Someone smashed it open and looted everything that will be inside. Hmm. All right. So there is someone here. Okay, and there we go. Oh no. There we go. That's fine. Some items are usable, but instantly on character. And use the eye to pop up your cipher. Okay. Use an item. Oh, because you have a person, uh, it's up to you at all. Oh, okay, it reduces depression. And. Yeah, let's use it. Let's cure her depression and that's... Oh, okay. Suspected witch, restless adventurer, unwilling hero and Welsh princess. Well... Or I will use the item. Well-being, character shink. I think. I, oh my goodness! Other characters missing parts. If any of these go all the way to 100%, the character dies. If one of the four family member dies, the game is over. Oh my. Okay. Has different strength expressed by their skill. Skill increased with over time. Which being each of you know, which is being neg negatively affected by different elements of the health of the character. Okay. Oh, okay. So these are the statuses that negatively affect the different skills. Okay. All right. Interesting. All right, traits. Oh. Potential hero. Okay, and... Back pain one, coward one. Hmm. Oh, lasting remorse. No. Healthy buddy. Stay at home, mom. So, so she can't do anything out in the wild. Hates walking. Hates stones. <laughs> I hate stones from the depth of my heart. She is loud and annoying. <laughs> I'll leave some descriptions. And she's cunning. Right. Relentless. Can't stay in a place. Yeah, she's our explorer. Impulsive and annoying. Okay. Every task on the camp is associated to a skill and the character with a higher skill. Yeah, that's that's a no-brainer. And the next phase. But I think I can... 
put on water. Fire that up. Perfect. And if I do it one more time, I should be able to... There we go. Let's just uh, get water. Water is m the most important resource if you want to survive. Food can come later, but you need water. Okay. She can... S God damn it. Yeah, she has a good scavenging skill. Wait, crafting is... There we go. 28... 27, 22, 15. Alright, she he is the best for that. Alright, and that is the scavenging skill, right? Yeah, alright. Let's assign Mora to water. And blood awards for the ship. Yeah. She will probably get more than her sister. Ooh, weaponry. And a little bit of depression. Crafting. And we have lumber. Wood cutting. There we go. Wood cutting. Yeah, you can get a little bit of water. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, new area. And the meadow. And fatigue. Okay, now sun fading. Final arrangement for the night. During which we'll chat. One potable water per person. Okay. Can I... There we go. Oh, dirty cloth. No oh, clothes. Search for the owner. Well, you are stealthy. Those clothes have made put dry eons ago, but they were not put there by themselves. You follow the sound of water to a small river. Over the lies there, crushed by a fallen tree. Ah, oh, unlucky guy. Wow, death by death by beaver. Let's search the dam. Skill check should be passed. Yeah. Yeah, and we got wood. Perfect. And we take the cloth, and... Mom should be able to do it. It's not a threat when you take someone else's garbage, is it? Take everything, we know he is die dead. You feel the back of your neck itching. And she is stinky for three days. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I have to see that. Can I see that? Trades. There. Three days. Stinky. Charisma reduced. <laughs> uh, what happened? Uh, 
we picked up the clothes from the dead guy and apparently some of them had molds and worms and insects in them and they fell on her and uh, well she threw up no oh, relationship okay Okay. End day. Okay. That's enough for today. Come everyone, it's time to grab a bite and try to sleep a little. You can stand without me. I want to consolidate this shelter some more. You shouldn't overdo it, Eric. The shadows are already dancing with us. Not oh, re no, really. I can. I must do it. It's my fault if you. Not again, Eric. Eric, we already discussed that topic. You don't have to take the blame alone for what is happening to us. But you heard like uh, me, honey. The man that burned our home were after me. They screamed, "Kill the bastard!" I am the bastard. It's my burden to bear. Alone. Dude, lighten a bit up, would ya? Why did they call you that? That's a story I'd like to hear. If we weren't close to dying from starvation, of course. We should make traps. The forest must be full of tiny meat on legs. And full of big dangers. I prefer you'd stay here with me. There's plenty to do at the camp. In your dreams, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we have some axes, we have some bags. We're good to cut trees in the forest from now on. I'll let you take care of that. I don't have the muscle for it. You can help too, Mora. You must, uh, must strengthen your body. You're too weak. I'm the sister who got the mind, you got the muscle. Damn, would you stop? And I got both. You sure do, child. Sure do. Cutting trees is tiresome, but hauling them back to camp even more so. Anyone can help, but don't do overdo it if you're too tired. You'll just end up hurting yourself. I just want to remind everyone that the wood is our main resources for crafting and keeping our fire. So we shouldn't overlook keeping a steady supply of wood. I'm a little bit hungry. Okay, everyone, everyone was not be dehydrated. The more portable water you give them, the more they like they will heal rehydrates. Saying you have any penalties. Dehydrate fall, uh, still not rehydrate. They will die. Okay. Okay. And. Alright, let's give them. Or can I change? Can I change it up? I can change it up. Alright. Oh, 75. Yeah, let's take the 75% per, cha uh, percent per cha chance. God damn it. Next. He's staying dehydrated. I need to split whatever edible stuff they have. Rock before the end of the night. Can I? All right. Okay. Well, then you will need. You are a little bit sick.
There we go. Okay. Oh wow, that goes down, okay. I have to keep that in mind.